Good morning, everybody. It's a little later than normal, but the kitties are all here. The kitties all here. So, I can't remember what I said and didn't say yesterday, but basically there was some back and forth on figuring out what time the print on the 3D printer would, would or wouldn't finish. And I was up at 4, and I reached for my phone, and it had stopped. And that was the original time we thought. So, <laughs> poor Johnny. I didn't have the card with the print file on it, which was 2020 I should have. Anyway, I woke him up, and we were out in the garage at 4.30 swapping out the print. And um, this is a modified landmine weapon to replace the one that got shattered, well, broke in half yesterday. Um, a friend went in and tweaked on it while Johnny was in the garage yesterday doing stuff, a real, um, CAD wizard, and, um, anyway, it's printing, because, you know, we need to take him back tomorrow sometime, and it needs to be printed before we leave, and I think there's one other print to do, so, anyway, I'm trying to tell you is... I was up until like 4 to 6 and then went back to sleep for a while. And Don does not set the alarm weekdays, but doesn't set it on weekends. And I guess he was tired too, so we all slept in a little bit. But Johnny's dad will be pick here to pick him up within the hour. And um, things are, are stable, are good for where the robots are where the guys finished up last night. I mean, they didn't come in till like 10. I, th I swear they put in a full eight hour work day, if not longer on the robots yesterday, but I think Johnny's in good shape. They'll need to tweak one or two quick things tomorrow morning and pack up Johnny's stuff, because um, Johnny's just spending the night at his dad's house and then he'll be, be back. And um, we'll take him to UNCC, because we gotta help him in with his robot bins and we gotta help him in with um, the storage thing we bought for over the refrigerator and one or two other items. So, uh, tomorrow's going to be a... We won't get home until later again after dropping him off, but it's okay. Because as we found out, it's, it's like five and a half hours on the road, not to mention stop time, and stop time's liable to be... Oh, 90 minutes at least by the time we get in the dorm, do what we need to do, and get back to the car. It's been too short of a weekend, just so you know. Mom, Mom is super glad to see her boy, but it's been way too short of a weekend. Good morning, Panther. Hi, bud. Good morning. Good morning. Donna and I will try to walk. After Johnny heads out, we can't go three days without walking. It's not cool, but it's not horrible out here. So, I'm sure it'll be a little hot. Maybe we'll walk the environmental park today. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I guess I've decided to leave that chair there. Yeah, it means I need to move it when I mow, but that's okay. Uh-oh. We have two boys that have had a meeting over here. Come on, Tux, up to your spot. Go to your spot. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up to your spot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up your spot. Come on. Good boy. I can love you up here. And that way, you know, poor Stripe is not... Stripe just doesn't understand why people don't like him, but he's not bold like Marty. Anyway, it's all good. I heard a little mouthiness, and I was able to give them some space. What I started to say is that I moved my table to the side of the house, and I repositioned the chair and the flowers around the chair, because Marty's been sleeping in it a lot, and I can see him out the kitchen window. Whereas I know they're in these chairs, but um, anyway, I'm kind of liking the way that looks in the garden there, but the table was too much for that spot, so I've moved the table. Plus, the table needs fixed before I can do anything with it. That's what I was going to say. And I've watered now, and Johnny's left for 
till tomorrow morning. And um, Don and I are going to go for a walk here in a bit. And I put Stripe in the house. If he's lucky, Tux will fall asleep and then he can come out and move around freely. And Tux will be none the wiser, or at least not care. So here's the um, weapon. It's slightly smaller and designed to um, be within weight and maybe stand up to being hit a little better. I don't know. You never know with these things till you try them. Um, the reason for the redesign and the help from a friend just had to do with what we could get printed before he could leave. We talked about various things. I guess the only option I didn't discuss with Johnny is overnighting something to the hotel. But this is actually the robot that runs, is in Friday's competition, not Saturday's. So I offered to drive to Greensboro to bring, meet up with him and his friend and bring parts. Um, but they go up 77, not 85. So they're really not going through Greensboro. So it just, you know, I can send stuff to UNCC, but it's got to go through the mail room and that slows things down a day or two. So it's pretty much what he leaves with. Hi. You here to help again? These are the um, gel clings I got for the kitchen windows. I'm going to put them on. I'm trying to do a little tiny something every day. I just put on my black kitty cat. I've put it on twice now and tried to get it straight. It's still not quite straight. I guess I'll try one more time. So I got the gel clings up on the kitchen window and clean everything at least on <clears throat> the lower half. <laughs> and I added a few pumpkins to the door. And this is all new up here. So I'm done with the gel clings and I'm happy with how they turned out. I uh, brought down the Halloween dishes. I'm going to refresh them. This set is really cute. There's four of them. Here's the black cat. Jack-o-lantern. I hand washed those because, well, I just did. But these other ones are going to get a uh, refresh cycle, which is short. It's not very dirty. Fixing to put out mini flags and a big flag. I think I think there's um, seven little flags and I think I brought enough. If not, there's a few more to choose from in the attic. So this is the shower curtain for Halloween in our bathroom. I tried to compromise between a black cat and an owl. There was one I liked, one notch better. There's also a black cat. But... Um, it was coming from someplace really far away and not going to be here for like 30 days. And so, I don't know, maybe next year. <laughs> Don walked around with me and we've uh, replaced, put out, refreshed all of the flags in the yard. And I informed him that I think I want one more pole. <laughs> we missed one. <laughs> Down by the bridge. We missed one. Oh, we still have Marty over here. Well, there's just one extra in the garage that we didn't put out, uh. so. It is hard to remember where all of them are. Yeah, Not know. that Marty looks bad, but Marty's, uh, he'll get to go out again next summer. Yeah. See, he's so cute. That was a new one we found at Guardian Angel this year. I that well, I meant me and Michelle. <laughs> I didn't mean you. <laughs> yeah. So Johnny tried to get me the Halloween minifigures at Crabtree. He's up there with a friend. And they didn't have them at the Crabtree store yet. They were supposed to be there on the first. Well, either that or they're out of them already. The first round or whatever. <laughs> Poor Stop. <kid. laughs> Sorry. Remember mini flag at the street? <laughs> All right. Oh, see? It's a great mini flag. Thankfully, it's not faded. It'll look good next year yeah. or the year after I swap them All around. All better. We have a black kitty at the street now. a father and son out there and they're practicing with their drone way cool it's the last weekend for the splash pad and it's busy enough yeah and there's more people coming it's 91 out here so why why not it just seems so quiet in the parking lot and i think that's because um the guys working over at the church aren't working today they're not parked up here today this most days a lot of the cars up here lately are from church parking um you need to circle around one more time
because I think that's a pole star over there. As a matter of fact, I'm sure. Go not the first left, but the second left. Yes, ma'am. This would be the first left. Second left, and this car here with the trunk up is a pole star. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. There's no think about it. <laughs> I've seen it from the front. Yeah, it's got the little decal on the side that says what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I see the symbol in the back too. Definitely a pole star. Yeah. Somehow it got to be 2.40 p.m. Yeah, 91 degrees. And the, you know, nothing like walking in the peak sun of the day. Oh, and this way. I never I never quite understand why there's and not there. not a trail to... Well, where would you think we were walking to? I thought we were walking the thing. Yeah, then we can do this. I, I yes. Wasn't well, I said the environmental... Uh, anyway. Just a slight miscommunication. Yes, down here in the shade. I want to create a new route for Pokemon Go if there's not one. I've been waiting to do that. Well, what we've discovered is that the Pogo map of the trail in this park is not very accurate. It's not a GPS issue with my phone. It's uh, however they loaded up this trail in the first place. It's not what it was in the beginning. It's changed over time. It was never accurate to begin with. I'm still creating the route though. At least I'll know. Don and I will know how to walk it. Most of the players in town, they don't want any routes they have to walk. They only want routes that they can drive. I want both. I want both. Oh, I hope there aren't any snakes. Make a lot of noise, Donnie. <laughs> All the stilt grass over here. And boys, they need to get down here and handle this. This is a legitimate part of the trail here in the park. And then back up this way. Yeah, what I thought. I thought this was close to the bridge. Yeah. Watch out, there's a big drop off here. Erosion. This is not the normal way in and out of the park, but it is an accepted and known trail to Pokemon Go. So we're ex Yep. 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 Well, they head straight in and then they don't go very far because it's work and they leave, <laughs> except for the regulars. Those with an adventurous spirit walk here. Yeah, I mean, this is legitimate here, but it's, um, you know, on the other side of the amphitheater, it's not well marked. You'll see where Jules is relative to where we went in. With no rain for a few days, the creek is very calm today, but full of water, full of water. We've seen it quite dry before, and it's not dry. All that brown out there means they were through here and they sprayed some chemical. I really don't understand why they just don't come through here with one of those big bushwhacker blade, you know, heavy-duty industrial stuff to get rid of the unwanted scrub. Well, I guess I got two questions. How do they come through here? Yeah. Oh, they on, they're not on foot. Right. Are they on an airplane? Oh, that's a good point. A drone? How would you make sure, though, that people weren't walking in the park that day while you were dropping the spray if you're in an airplane? I don't care? I don't know. Because I don't see any vehicle tracks. Because if they come through there on a vehicle, it would be... But they get the lawnmowers down here. Well, yeah, but not up in here. Yeah, yeah. I think your idea of an airplane is actually not not bad i mean i don't like it at all but generally power lines and airplanes don't mix that's true too that's also a good point well as close as we live to it we've never actually seen them do it there's so many loud noises you know, we hear up at the house between the military drills at the various air uh, 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 military bases, aircraft flying over all the time. And our neighbor here, the trucking people with the dump trucks and stuff coming and going. And 
the lift station being powered on. I mean, it's noisy on and off. So I don't know that we're super sensitive to these outside noises. And usually in the house, you can't hear it, you know, really loud. Anyway, well, everything's still marked off, but they haven't been in here to do anything. They still have to move those wires. Okay, uh, power transmission lines, whatever it is they're going to do out there. They, they told, we talked to that one guy and he said they're going to move some poles. We didn't understand exactly what they were going to move or when they were going to move it, but. Although there are uh, caterpillar tracks there. Yeah. Those are new. Those are new. Those are new. Yeah. When the guys have been up near the bridge surveying a lot in the last two weeks, multiple days in a row, it's like, it sort of seemed like they were in the same spot. I'm like, can you not figure it out yet? How many times you gotta survey it? Guess as many times as it takes. It's a little buggy down here today, just a little. All right, we've walked to the end as far as we can go. I think I've seen like, I can see three, like five dump trucks and several tractor trailers. They just keep on growing over there at that spot. Dang, it's like a jungle in here today. Yeah. And the stuff over here don't dry out as quick either because of the um, shade. Yeah. Down near the creek, shade, lots of reasons. My creek being on the left now. So this right here is southern ground cedar and it's in the club moss family and it's all over North and South America where it's humid. Not really on the west coast though. I've always thought it was really pretty and wondered what it is and it does look very cedar-ish so I think that's a good name for it. We've been looking up several plants in the park today that are uh, things we have in our yard. Yeah. I'm still not a hundred percent able to identify what this is. It could be Japanese laurel but I don't think so or it could be spindle something in the spindle family but I don't know somehow I think Google's not giving me an accurate uh, link for this because we have some in our yard and we've saved a little bit it, bit of it and pulled out some of it and I'd like to know what it is given how much it grows up where it grows yeah, I don't think it's, native. it's probably not native but I don't know for a fact so I like it because it keeps the green leaves all year round. So if I can have several specimens in the yard and keep it, you know, contained to that area, I'm probably good with that. We'll see. It's amazing the number of invasives in our area of North Carolina. And so much privet and um, stilt grass in the park over here, it almost makes you want to cry. Of course, some people don't like American holly, and I love American holly. Especially in January time frame when all of the robins and maybe a cedar waxwing, if I'm lucky, will come and eat the berries on it. I, I can live, cohabitate with the prickly leaves when they drop. They drop in the spring. They put out the flowers, they drop some of the leaves, and they add more leaves. Well, it was obvious the truck came, the, the thing that sprayed came through here. And it was a truck of some sort. Yeah, but it's funny, on the other side... On that opening, I did not see that. Yeah. Obvious here. Yep. Wow, that's a new tree down, and I'm making that observation because the, the branches up there still have leaves on them that are dying. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't remember. It eroded so much, and then that wind got it the other day. Yep. Yeah, well, we, uh, not the little Fran thing that we just had this weekend. Idalia. Idalia, a couple of weeks ago. Remember we had that right. really strong wind? Right, we had that really strong wind a couple of weeks ago. There was some high wind reported in Fuquay, and we was pretty much okay at the house, yeah, but... Yeah, a big mess up the part on the walkway. Right? Yep, yeah. yep. So that, that's what... Well, that, that was a beautiful had. red oak. Yep. Sorry one. to see it go. Nothing, this is not related, but nothing that can be done about it. That's just the way of the forest. All right, I think I found it. I took a second picture. Google did better. Simplicos tinctoria or common sweet leaf, horse sugar, or yellow wood. And it is native. So it has a 
yellow fluffy flower seed thing in the spring but um i guess no berries in the winter so i am going to leave some of it in our yard we will not eradicate it it is not non-native it is not invasive nespresso nespresso i'm a thinking ariel is going to be happy we don't know for sure yet though since we've been home, I've been putting up more decorations. The shelves in both bathrooms are done. And I've got Annalise in the curio cabinet. Don's been working on various projects, including my fountain. And I asked him if he wouldn't put up my black cat. I'm feeling very Halloween fall festive. I'm ready for cool temps and pumpkin spice. It's just the way it is. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, Donnie. He promised me he'd put it up as soon as it got into the shade and well this is close enough right that's right and with the hooks and the ties it's not a other than the fact that i'm sure he's not happy he had to fight the seed pods um yeah it looks awesome thank you mm -hmm. mostly on theme with one cat mug stuck in the middle I'll move that if I find another owl or something to put up in here. The uh, black cat on the bed collection has grown for the season, including the real McCoy. Hey, Midnight. Good boy. Well, hopefully you can see him a little bit. There's the Annalise. Most of the Annalise. They go all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> There's a couple of spooky witches way down there. And, and yet yeah, I'm a little spook in here now too. I am drying the shower curtain from the other bathroom. It's been washed until I put it back up. Excuse me, were you attempting to use the bathroom alone? Don's gonna love that sign when he comes in here. So I gotta redo up there redo the pie table redo the mantle and redo the kitchen table so i did a lot today but there's a lot left to do there's no shortage of things left to do mm -hmm.